What's going on guys? Modern Day Muscle from Free Smoke. Make sure you go and check out freesmokeofficial.com where you can get your free smoke apparel. We're covering all bodies from small to 5X. Make sure you come and check it out. Again, that is freesmokeofficial.com. Go and get your apparel. What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I'm your boy Fat Cat. We got the Rally Rails in the building. If you guys know me, you're watching Free Smoke Home. The news for the culture, man. Hey, real quick, freesmokeofficial.com. As you guys just seen on the commercial, go get your merch. Go get your apparel. We got uh, uh, hoodies, sweatpants for you guys available right now as well. All kind of different colors, all kind of different sizes. You know what I'm saying? Everything, man. Go check it out. You won't be disappointed. Freesmokeofficial.com. Now, let's go ahead and get into it, man. You know, the first story we got breaking for y'all today. Uh, this actually happened a couple of days ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For all you football fans out there, you guys might have heard about this. And, uh, you know... It's it's funny because we're gonna see what's gonna what's gonna come out come out of it. You know, if it's not already out by by the time this video comes out, mm -hmm. we gotta see what's going on with it, man. Because we're talking about Mr. Aaron Rodgers, man, Mr. Aaron Rodgers on the Green Bay Packers, as y'all know, the story quarterback, man. You know, Hall of Fame quarterback. You know, mm -hmm. definitely gonna be Hall of Fame quarterback when it, when it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. But man, he not too long ago. <laughs> busted positive for covid now yeah is that an issue no it's not an issue because you know it's it's pretty i mean you know people, people bust positive for covid mm. now with or without being vaccinated you know yep. what i'm saying but the thing is <laughs> why, why this ended up being such a huge story is because not only did he bust positive for covid but mm. they asked him not too long not too uh shortly before that they asked him are you vaccinated Mm -hmm. He said, "I'm immune now. I, I, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, immunized. Immunized. I'm yeah. immunized. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, people took that as, oh, he's saying that he's vaccinated. Well, no. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is he got his regular old shots, but he was yeah. not vaccinated for COVID. Now, again, you know, it, 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 it's it, it, his his choice. Mm -hmm. But but the fact that he lied about it." is the big issue man or else yeah. what do you think about it big fact um the thing and then he came back and he was talking about other guys in the league uh people that haven't that decided not to get vaccinated and he kept saying those guys those guys i'm like yeah hey, man, I, was I, just, I was like why you keep you are those Who's guys that? you know what i'm saying <laughs> Um, and 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 that's another thing that kind of threw people into you know thinking that you know he actually got vaccinated and there are protocols um the, the press meetings and stuff like that, you got to have a mask on if you're not vaccinated when you're inside these facilities, you know, um, when you're having team meetings and stuff like that. Now, but Aaron Rodgers came out, he came out and dropped down on Green Bay. Hey, they knew. They knew. Mm. You know what I mean? So now you throw in Green Bay under the bus, you know, and, you know, of course, there's potential for uh, fines. Um, if, if it persists, there's uh, potential of um, lost uh, draft picks um, and stuff like that, you know. So there's a lot to go behind it. But this is my thing. And this goes uh, to the sports world. This goes to you guys out there watching from sports land. I want to see y'all criticize Aaron Rodgers as just as hard as y'all criticize Kyrie Irving. Ooh, I was waiting for that one. I knew you was going to say it. I was yes. waiting for it. Yes, I was waiting for it. The thing is, Kyrie told you, no, I didn't get it. And no, I'm not going to get it. Kyrie didn't look at, look at you in your face and lie to you and try to swindle you. 
try to try to hood, hoodwink you. He looked at you in your face and told you straight up what he was not going to do. Not going to get it. You know, so media, I want y'all to start doing the same thing that y'all keep did. Keep that same Kyrie. energy. Yeah, keep that same, that, that's, keep that same energy. You know, don't bring it down. Don't take it, at least keep it the same. Now me, I would take it up because I was lied to at the end of the day. You know what I mean? To my face. You tried to play, you tried to do a play on words, you know, um, to insult my intelligence, which I'm that's realized. something that, yeah, I, I really, I really, really feel a, a way about that, you know? So, you know, people that try to play on words, uh, tomato, tomato type deal, you know? Now nah, we're not gonna do that. So uh, I need everybody to keep that same energy that they had uh, with Kyrie, with Mr. Aaron Rodgers at the end of the day. Um, it's it's unfortunate man that you know people feel like they got to try and, and swindle you know swindle you and 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 so forth and so on and then aaron Rodgers went on a show man and he i think he 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 probably wished he could take back a lot of the stuff he said um on that show man and basically saying that people are now coming for his head and and he's gonna they're gonna try and cancel him and all this stuff and I'm like, bro, call Kyrie Irving about people coming for your head. You know what I'm saying? About this situation at the end of the day. Bro, that year, man, this ain't even a slap on the wrist. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. So um, do I have sympathy for the guy? No. Nah. Because I'm going to tell you one thing, brother. And this goes to anybody that's a multimillionaire in this world. I would never feel sorry for you. Never. You know what I mean? Now, if you have something tragic happen to your life, I will have sympathy for you. But if you're in a position to where you're a multimillionaire, it's hard for me to feel sorry for you when I know people that are, you know, that live a struggle life, brother. That, you know what I mean? Those are people you know you kind of feel sorry for. But, bro, this is a selfish situation. So I'm definitely not feeling sorry for Mr. Multimillionaire Aaron Rodgers. It's not gonna happen because mm. at the end of the day, he's going back home to his multi million dollar mansion. He's gonna hop in his Range Rover or his uh Ferrari and, and so forth, and he's gonna sleep tight, y'all. So I'm not I, I'm not feeling uh sorry for him. I think he's getting off light. I think they need a dog gonna get a little heavy on him, bro. Just my opinion, though. Yeah, that and you know what? And like I said, may, maybe by the time this video comes out, we might hear uh, more of what might come down, but um, you know, but so by the time people are watching this, maybe I don't know, may, maybe something more. More what it came of it, but as mm -hmm. of right now, I agree with you. Like I said, they drug Kyrie through mm -hmm. the dirt. You mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying because he made a conscious decision that he didn't want to do. You mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying like he he didn't want he he didn't want to uh uh you know conform to mm -hmm. you know the masses and and what everybody telling him to do. Like he didn't want to do it. So mm -hmm. you know his team told him, all right, well these are the consequences. And mm -hmm. He took that. He take right as of right now, he's taking that on the chin. Like okay, mm -hmm. cool. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Now, Aaron Rodgers, again, is different because Aaron Rodgers lied. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, but the thing about it is, is uh, the NFL is not mandating it, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for the vaccine. Why so, lie? Yeah, so why even lie about it? Like, what's the, what was the whole reason to lie about it when mm -hmm. when the NFL is not even mandated? So, meaning you could, you still could have played, you still do whatever. Mm -hmm. You just got different, different thing you know different uh protocols yeah. if, if you do if you do end up being uh pop just like you did just now mm -hmm. but i don't know man but the reporter asked him and he said i'm i'm immunized that, that's funny man he's like look bro i i got my chicken pox yeah i got my every time it's like like he didn't went to his shot records when we were you know saying like three years old talking about look i told you i'm immunized that's the stuff he had, had, had to, the stuff he had to go to the kindergarten bro yeah <laughs> Oh man! He said, he said, I got all my shots. Oh man, that dude! Oh bro. god, that was hilarious, bro. Hey, listen, but like you said, man, what, what makes this one worse is the fact that he felt that he needed to directly lie to mm -hmm. basically, you know, millions of people. Because when you're talking to that reporter, you're not just talking to that reporter; mm -hmm. you're talking to everybody that's looking through that lens mm -hmm. as well. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, potentially tens of thousands to you know to whoever, mm -hmm. uh, especially especially all the Green Bay Packer fans. He definitely lied to them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so 
Yeah, and, and, and it just takes away, man. You know, it takes away from from what you got going on. Like I said, what had changed the outcome? Because if you would have tested positive, what had changed the outcome of you not being able to play? So, for instance, last this last weekend was mm-hmm. a big game between Green Bay and Kansas City. Mm-hmm. You know, he he probably would have been to play anyway because you know yeah, you he yeah. popped positive. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it, it would have made a difference. But the point is. Like, why even lie about it? Like, like I said, now you're trying to bamboozle mm-hmm. everybody that's out here investing into you. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's Hood the crazy wing. part about it. We ain't Hood landed wing. on Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, but exactly. My my thing is, and granted, I don't I don't ever wish that on anybody as far as mm-hmm. oh, they need to kick him out. Mm-hmm. He need to be suspended. He need this. I don't know. But I'm just saying, just like you said. They need to keep that same energy mm-hmm. that they have for Kyrie. And by the way, it was a lot of Kyrie's peers, by the way. Mm-hmm. When I say peers, when I say peers, I mean people that are in the same sport as him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh 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 um what do you call them? Um sport commentators and mm-hmm. and 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 things like that, you know what I'm saying, that were throwing them, you know what I'm saying, like dragging them through the dirt. Chastising so, them, yeah. Chastising them, you know what I'm saying? So I even see the NFL guys. You know what I'm saying? The NFL commentators and the NFL, you know, sports reporters and stuff like that. Um, I need to see them keep that same energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that they did for Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? So but we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll see absolutely, what happens. Man. Cra- crazy he felt like he got a lie. Like you're a grown ass man, bro. Like you're a grown ass multi million dollar man. Why you yeah. gotta lie about you a whole grown you a whole grown man. <laughs> yeah. Like, nah, bro, I'm I am i am not. I'm not vaccinated. And if they ask you any more questions, you'd be like, I don't want to talk. That's my personal That's business. Like Mm-hmm. You know uh, pull, pull the Marshall on Lynch. I'm just see her. I'm here so I won't get fined. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know why I'm here. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You know why I'm here. But anyway, man. Let's move on to our next story. Man, our next story again, man. Um, it seems that we've been having like a lot of like, you know, uh good well, I mean, even though that wasn't a good one, but we've been having like a lot of, you know, you know, kind of like sweet and sour, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Good and then bad. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one was kind of um now um start well started off. You know, crazy, but um, you know, towards the end of the video, man, we uh, you know, uh, seems like everything's gonna be on the up and up, man. Mm-hmm. And we talk about none other than Mr. Cali Muscle, man. Cali Muscle, if y'all don't know, man, he has a dope channel, man. He does mm-hmm. a lot of like lifting and things like that, but he also does a lot of stuff with cars as well. Mm-hmm. So if you haven't subscribed to Cali Muscle, man, make sure I go subscribe to him right now. But with that being said, man, yo, uh, he was um, he had a heartfelt. As y'all can see, and, and you know, this is actually a part of his video right here. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, he had a whole video with him being in the hospital saying, Man, um, he almost literally legitimately almost um passed, you know, as he says, almost died. That's the title mm-hmm. of the video, almost yeah. died. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I guess uh uh um, you know, a lot of underlying issues that he had going on from mm-hmm. a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And it seems like it might have caught up to him, man. But anyway, he's in he, he was in the hospital bed. Mm-hmm. And um, um what he was saying was, man, he, he basically caught a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. You know, bro, um, it's um it's you know sad, of course, to see someone um that I'm pretty sure a lot of people look to as a superhero, somebody like Cali Muscle, right. this guy that can lift everything in the gym all at one time. And then you know you see them in a vulnerable position um like this but it lets you know that guys you know health is wealth man you gotta take care of your body now i know you know he was you know working out heavy and stuff like that but there are things that you know small things that you know may happen to us and we're like man that don't feel right or this ain't right with me or so forth and so on we kind of brush it away um and i'm gonna tell you uh really especially us um, as African American males, you know, because we're taught to, uh, if if you feel in any type of way, uh, push through it, you know, um, you know, get over it, you know, you're good. But we have to really uh, take our health into uh, serious accountability from the smallest thing. You know what I mean? Um, that's why you got to make sure you got good health insurance and all that type of stuff, man. Because um, he, uh, Cali Muscle, had uh, mentioned that it was some things that he was dealing with previously that he didn't really pay too much attention to um we really have to um take control of that man because um to see the big homie down like that man i was like bro man like that was the last thing i was gonna expect from him um to post granted i know anything can happen to anybody but when you look at somebody as um a picture of you know help somebody that work out every day 
it's like if you work out every day what more can you do to prevent you know um health issues or whatnot man so that's what kind of threw me for a loop i'm like man not 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 cali muscle man you know so um to to listen to him um and, and the things that he was speaking about man it's just like you know um you gotta you gotta take it to account you know even the smallest things that may go wrong with us or whatnot man because we have to you know health is wealth and we gotta 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 you know um prevent anything because you know we may have underlying conditions we don't know about you know mm -hmm. um so when you do man uh when you do start to see things uh that, are, that don't feel normal and and don't look normal you definitely gotta uh, you know take it to accountability man just you know go to get checked out what's the worst that could happen like bro i know a lot of people in our community are afraid of doctors bro like literally like my grand my grandfather bro he was like he's not going to them so they could tell him something wrong with him you know what i mean mm -hmm. but you know a lot of folks don't understand early detection in anything is the key they find out something early then it's going ahead and stop that man but um the homie uh you know Kelly, i know he he ready to get back out there man and um you know you know get his content going again but that's to me that's the situation right there take a break get away from it come back when you're ready you're healthy and stuff like that so cali muscle for me to you brother make sure that you 100 you know when you come back don't you know do it because you feel like you got to and and so forth and so on because you know at the end of the day your health man ain't no price tag on that i 100 percent agree man and you know at the end of the day the way i do it I, what i took from that is man i need to get my ass you know <laughs> back into into shape man because yeah. uh you know I, I ain't gonna lie like i've been neglected myself you know ever since, mm -hmm. especially Ever since I got out of the military, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, you, Ooh, I am done. Bro, I am done. I haven't, I haven't seen the gym since I retired, bro, uh, <laughs> over a year ago. So I'm with you on yeah. that. I got to do the same thing, brother. Listen, I got out in 2016. I I have not ran one day since I got out of the military. Mm -hmm. October 2016. But anyway, but, uh, I, I had to run, exactly. Yeah. So when I got out, I was like, man, ain't nobody going to, man. Yeah. Crazy if I'm mm. think I'm gonna run off. Think I'm gonna run voluntarily? Mm. Crazy. Not gonna happen. So yeah, man. But anyway, but, but, but in all seriousness, man, I, I I took from there. I was like, man, I need to start mm. really taking care of myself again, man. And, mm. You know, start eating better, eating healthier. Mm. And, you know, what I'm saying, try to drink more water. I, I have been trying to drink more water for the last mm -hmm. couple of months, but you know, what I'm saying, just all that stuff that encompasses being more healthy. Mm -hmm. I I got to get into that too, man. Because like I said, man, you know, someone like Cali Muscle, man, like he's literally. You know, he, he's he's that guy that's in the gym all the time. You mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying body sculpting, this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. Even though he said in the in the video that he's kind of he kind of fell back from that. Um, mm -hmm. you know, over the last you know a uh, couple months or whatnot. Um, but you know, but he's still you know he was still in the gym. He was still doing mm -hmm. things to take care of himself, man. So, so yeah, man. So at the end of the day, like I said, if something like that could happen to him. Yeah, we definitely yeah, gotta you know all be conscious of what we got going on so mm -hmm. big time shout out to kali muscle though you know what i'm saying uh uh you know what i'm saying seems like he he's you know everything was working out man he said the mm -hmm. doctor said everything everything else was cool mm -hmm. everything else was good to go go check out this video man because like i said for people that um he actually got emotional on, too on the video you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um so as we know like the, like this stuff was kind of real man it was it was hitting them mm -hmm. so go go check out the video man kali muscle Again, I think the title is literally, I think it said almost, I almost died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So go check that out, man. And, you know, go listen to what he got to say, man, because like I said, it could open up your eyes too. Mm -hmm. If you're dealing with, you know, anything that might be remotely close to that type of situation. Man. So mm -hmm. big time, big time. Uh, uh, salute to Cali Muscle, man. Hope to see you back out and about, you know what I'm saying? With all your funny uh videos and everything yeah. else, man. Cause he's a super, super funny dude, man. And mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, can't wait to see him back out in action again. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But with all that being said, yo, brother, Russ, what have you got for announcement, bro? Man, coming up Sunday, November the 14th, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m., we've got Stunner Jam Car Truck and Motorcycle Show hosted by the one and only Stunner Reese. It's going down, man, at the Broadway Grand Prix in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, it's going to be over 60 trophies handed out. I know you see over 50, but Stunner Reese confirmed that it's going to be over 60 trophies. Dude, we're going to call this the five-state battle of the best, man. So make sure you're out there. I'm definitely going to be out there. I'm um, also uh, tentatively mark your calendars, man. The big showdown is going down again in Dallas, 
Texas. Uh, mark it down April 9th. Um, if things change, we'll make sure we come back and let you guys know. And once we get that official flyer, uh, we will definitely uh, make sure that, you know, you guys get that as well. But this just, you know, kind of hit the street smoking on a live by Demonology. So he put out April 9th. So right now, just go ahead. Like I said, mark your calendar so you can plan accordingly. There y'all go, man. Hey, don't forget also down below, man. Check us out, man. Make sure you guys hit that uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the all button. Also share all these videos, you know what I'm saying, so we can get as many eyeballs as possible on these videos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, we got the PO box in the description. If you want to send us anything, go ahead and do so in the description. You know, you know, say in the PO box that's in the description. And we'll open it up here on the show, man. We'll mm -hmm. shout you guys out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the live shows will be back soon, man. So you guys just mm -hmm. hang tight for a second. Mm -hmm. We will have, we will be having live shows. We do got a couple of guests already lined up, mm -hmm. and they will be back here soon, man. So, mm -hmm. other than that, that's all we got for y'all today. Yo, blessed up to everyone out there. Big time salute and shout out to the Free Smoke Squad. If you don't know, you are watching Free Smoke, and we do this for the culture. Yo, we out of here later.